Rachel Lawrence! It was a very difficult part to do, and in my own estimation, I got it right. Sometimes you'll make a movie and you'll see it and say, oh, I wish I'd have done that, I, I, I should, shouldn't have done that, I shouldn't have done this, and we should have done that. And I sat there and there was none of that. I just thought, that's, that's Clarence, that's it. I'm not the sort of magician who drags you through endless mysteries. I'm pretty straightforward. And I don't do card tricks. My idea of bad movie acting is you're sitting there and you say, isn't that Michael Caine a wonderful actor? Look at him, he's a fantastic actor. That's crap. You've got to be sitting there saying, I wonder what's going to happen to Clarence now. You should be worried about Clarence, not me. And uh, I always try to make, first of all, me disappear, the ego disappear, then the acting disappear. And then you just see the person. And that's what I think I did in, in this picture. You, you just see Clarence. You a magician? No. I'm a retired flasher. This used to be my room until Arnold came. Who's he when he's at home? He's not anybody now. He's dead. He died in that bed. If you see anything supernatural, do you think you can inform me? Do you think you can bagger off? The role of Clarence had a, a, a personal element for you too, in that you'd observed the, the experiences of Alzheimer's sort of first hand. Yeah, so yeah. One of my best friends, Dougie Hay Hayward, my tailor, was dying during that film where event, I mean, uh, let me hasten to add, this movie isn't about Alzheimer's or dementia, dementia but uh, um, I had very close up and personal experience of it for, for several years, so I knew what it was like and it, it was rather unsettling to do it, but I, I had to do it. You live on your own all your life and then they think it's a great idea to shove you together with a load of strangers. Look at them, as if they died years ago and no one was good enough to tell them. Why aren't they screaming? I've always had a life outside of show business which has been more important than show business. Um, I feel that uh, the movies retire you and, and, and not the other way around, you know, and uh, I figure I will be sitting waiting for a part and part, a part won't come and then I'll be gone, but my life is going on in other areas. <laughs> Oh, I'm pissing against the wind. I'm, I'm drenching my magnetosh. You don't come back, son. Once they've gone, you can't talk to them. He'd still like to come back as a badger. Do you have any particular preference? For... No, well, I, I wouldn't mind coming back, but not as a badger. I myself would come back as me. I had a great time. I, I, I wouldn't change a thing. <laughs>